should we talk about today? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Bay, and this is basically science. I love science because it's in everything we do. Eating, breathing, walking, and even blading. That's right, there's a science to Beyblade. Let me show you. Welcome to the lab, Bay fans. This is basically science, and I am Dr. Bay, blader who asks the big questions. Like, why is Shukur and I so dreamy? I was trying to think of today's topic when it hit me. That's right, it's time we talked about collisions. Every time moving Beyblade tops hit each other, that's a collision. But what actually is a collision? Collisions are basically when two moving objects hit each other and then energy transfers between them. Where does that energy come from? Well, a few places. But for moving Beyblade tops, that energy comes from linear momentum. Linear momentum is a combination of the speed and mass of an object moving in a straight line. Momentum depends on two things, the object's mass and its velocity. It's important to remember that momentum is not just how fast an object's moving, it's how heavy it is too. So, a super heavy, super fast moving Beyblade will have more momentum and will transfer more energy into its opponent when they crash, leading to a bigger collision. After the collision, the opponent's top that's hit goes flying away super fast because it's had extra energy transferred into it. You can see linear momentum at work when a fast, heavy ball crashes and knocks down a target. Collisions. But if we replace that heavy ball with a slow moving and light ping pong ball, well, not much will happen. <sighs> All right, collisions, let's get collisioning. So remember, momentum depends on both velocity and mass. But to prove that velocity is a key part of momentum, let's launch the same Beyblade into the stadium at different speeds against the same target Beyblade. To measure the size of the collision, we can measure how far the target Beyblade is knocked back. If the target Beyblade is knocked back further, we're looking at a bigger transfer of energy basically a bigger collision. Now, with spinning tops, there's lots of factors at play. So, we're just gonna keep things simple and focus on the momentum of our Beyblade as it crashes into our target. We're also gonna use Garuda G3. Because it's so round, there's gonna be a lot less interference from extra blades and stuff. If we launch our Beyblade at a higher velocity, we should be able to expect a bigger collision, even if the mass is the same each time. Three, two, one, let it hit. First, we launched at hardly any velocity and our Garuda G3 didn't really knock the Targa Beyblade very far at all. Aww. When I used medium strength, Garuda G3 had medium velocity and so medium momentum, but with full power, I can make sure that my Garuda G3 has tons of momentum. Look at this knockback. On average, the Beyblade launched at higher velocity, knocked the target Beyblade back five and a half inches more than at the lower velocity. It looks like a higher velocity will lead to more momentum and a bigger collision. Nice. Now that we're sure the velocity is related to the size of our collision, how do we prove that our Beyblade's mass is related to momentum and therefore the size of the collision? 
let's launch our Garuda G3 into the stadium against our poor target Beyblade again. We can change the forge disc each time to make sure that our Beyblade has a different mass, but everything else stays the same. We'll use the forge disc D09 because it's the lightest and D66 because it's the heaviest each time we launch, but we'll launch at the same speed. The lighter Beyblade should have less momentum and therefore transfer less energy into the target Beyblade when they crash leading to a smaller collision. Three, two, one, let it rip. On average, our heavier Garuda G3 knocked the target away nine and a half inches, while our lighter Garuda G3 knocked the target Beyblade six inches away on average. I was right. The Beyblade with more mass had a bigger collision because it transferred more energy. And that's because it had more momentum. I guess you could call that a masterful launch. What's that? We've successfully made a bajillion bad jokes? No way! <laughs> I want to thank my parents and the Begum Academy. <laughs> this is just too much. So, what did we learn today? Collisions are transfers of energy between objects. More energy being transferred means a bigger collision. A key component of this energy is momentum. Momentum is made of mass and velocity. So a heavier and faster Beyblade will have more momentum and therefore bigger collisions when battling. You've all been amazing lab partners. That's it for Basically Science for now. I hope you all keep investigating and learning while you're eating, breathing, walking, and even blading. Be good to each other and keep on letting it rip. We got the spin, 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 sun in my hands, ignite the fire. We got the win, 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 sparking it up, down to the wire. We got the spin, 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 here in our hands, we burning brighter. We got the win.